And my teachers began to notice that uh, impulse of mine to fool around with drawing and so forth. So when holidays began to roll around, they asked me if I'd come in and do things on the bulletin board to uh, advertise that particular holiday. So I began to do those. So it got to the point where I began to enjoy doing all that stuff. Now, maybe there's something in here from you in the future. And so I continued to do it until I finished the high school. I figured, well, I'd go to college and maybe polish that up a little bit and hone it down. So I went to Alabama State in Montgomery. And I started teaching at Dunbar, and I taught there for nine years. And they decided that uh, I should be an assistant principal, and they promoted me to another school out in Sierra Land. And I stayed there one year. And by that time, I was in cahoots with that crowd at South Alabama. Conlon and Sheely and um, um, Cleberdon, that whole group. Now, we were having our meetings at each other's houses and having the dean come to the meeting. We'd go to his house, meetings and all this sort of thing. We had this little niche. So something else was in the works that we were not, I was not aware of, that the pressure was being put on by the federal government to these southern schools to hire some black faculty. And if they didn't, they were going to lose federal money. So the edict came down from the president's office at South Alabama to these various departments, go see if you can find somebody. So when the people in our department got there, they go, look, the light bulb went off in their head. We know one. <laughs> He's at our house all the time. We're at his house all the time. So they came and they asked me why I would not come out and join them. I told them, oh, no, these are tenuous times here. Martin Luther King had just been assassinated the year before and the hostility on the campuses was kind of tight. Students were demanding um, uh, black history and black study courses to go on their campuses. So I didn't know how that was all going to work out, but I couldn't resist, resist it. So I told them, well, I'll go with you, and we'll see how this is going to work. Back in the old days, to be a, an artist in the black community, it took a heck of a fellow man because it was very difficult to survive at it. You had a family to provide for, you had no clientele among the black community. They had to live off of that little whatever money they were able to, to come up with. They had to speed their families with that. So who was going to buy the art? And it took a a person had to have some staying power to stick with whatever he was doing while he was working as a janitor in the day, while he was trying to paint at night and this sort of thing. That just didn't work out very well for the artist. Well, it was not until that began to drop off some, and they began to, the black middle class began to slowly rise a little bit so that there were a few people who were able to buy the art. And this is a self-portrait of me standing here not knowing who I was. The images at the top is Nubian ruins from Africa that goes back to ancient Africa. Uh, things that were able to survive the climate in South Africa over the years so that you got something to see. And say, this is from a particular region. It's not something that rotted away. So that's being borrowed there just to say that this is where I'm from, where this is, was done. Not very much in that uh, so much of my so-called recent stuff has um, not conjured any kind of association with technology because so much of it is abstract expressionism or very expressive. So you think of technology as somebody being very tight and very precise, which I am not. Yes, I think they've been very supportive for us, much better than I ever thought they would be. But I think um, institutions like the Fine Arts Museum down here and what you guys down there, that was elevating. People had to 
take notice who ordinarily might not have noticed otherwise. Hey, if the Fine Arts Museum sees something here, maybe that's something worth looking at or following. 